so many of you still trying to be super logical in your manifestation. And quite frankly, that's why you're not manifesting. You cannot manifest from logic. It is just not possible. That is out of congruence with the universal principles. The universe isn't asking how logical it is. It's responding to you. So if you are moving, trusting, believing that and opening yourself up to receive, then the universe can easily meet you there. But if you think that you need to work really hard to get something, if you think that you need to know the exact how, if you think that you need to have the timeline all planned out, you're going to be that person that's like, manifestation doesn't work for me. I don't understand why it works for everyone else, but it doesn't work for me. And it's like, because you aren't thinking like someone who manifests consistently. You're still thinking like the matrix programmed you to think. And if you consistently think how the matrix programmed you to think, you are going to be stuck in the matrix forever. And I see so many people genuinely wanting to have an easier, more fulfilling, more fun life. Like, you genuinely want it because that's what you deserve to have. You are here to be happy, healthy, abundant, to feel free. You are here to know how amazing your life gets to be for you. But quite frankly, you have to be the one that does the work. So that way the universe can just meet you and deliver things to you. If you're like, well, when this shows up, then I'm going to feel differently. You're never going to feel differently. And quite frankly, if you haphazardly manifest something, in the meantime, you're still not going to feel any better when you get it. You'll get a dopamine hit when it comes in, but it isn't going to be this lasting satisfaction. It isn't going to give you lasting happiness. It isn't going to give you peace of mind in a truly sustainable way because you're still relying on the outside world and you have forgotten how this whole thing works. Your brain is truly a hologram. You understand the neuroscience of your brain. This is backed in neuroscience and it's supported by quantum physics. Your brain is a hologram. Your thoughts and your frequency are creating your reality. This isn't spiritual mumbo jumbo. And the fact that I keep having to say this, but there's so many people who truly don't understand the nature of reality. It's not spiritual mumbo jumbo. Your brain is creating your reality. This is backed in neuroscience. So if you understand that you're creating your reality, then you understand that that's literally the definition of insanity for you to be waiting for your outside world to change, for you to feel happy when you get something, for you to feel wealthy when the money comes in, for you to feel loved when the partner comes in. You're not in leading energy. You are in non-circumstantial power. I feel good when. And that's going to forever keep you chasing after things outside of you and never actually receiving the things that you want because you cannot receive if you are chasing. And so many people are running around like chickens with their heads cut off trying to do this so that they can manifest this. I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. so I can have this morning routine because that's how I'm going to get money. And it's like, I am in the room with self-made multimillionaires, what, five days out of the week easily. And I'm telling you, one of my mentors wakes up at 5 a.m. She does. She also goes to bed at 7 a.m. One of my other mentors, she doesn't wake up until 9 a.m. every single day. And she doesn't have a morning routine. I will confidently tell you, because I am in the room and I mentor women that are making insane amounts of money. There is no morning routine that makes you a millionaire. There is no specific habit that you're going to do every day. It's not a certain visualization. It's not a certain affirmation. It's not a specific thing that's going to make you unlock the codes to wealth. It's you actually doing the work on yourself and then understanding when you are in alignment. Because when you're in alignment, that's when the money comes in. That's when the manifestations come in. That's when the love comes in. That's when all of the things that you desire come in. And I feel like so many of you are thinking, well, if I just learned how she's doing it and exactly how she does it, if I just knew what her morning routine was, if I just knew what books she's, she was reading, if I just knew, da, da, and you're constantly seeking and seeking and seeking, you're seeking and waiting for your life to change. And it's like, 
How can you receive anything that you desire if you're not in the present moment, if you're not actually working on your alignment, if you're not actually working on your energy, if you're not actually working on your mindset, and then taking aligned action from that place. The matrix teach, teaches you to take action, to take action, to take action, and then you're going to get something, and then when you get it, you'll be happy. That is why I would argue that 98% of people are miserable and broke and sick because they're listening to the matrix on how they get to live and how they get to be. And it's like, if you guys haven't realized that the matrix is intricately woven to take your power away from you, to teach you that you're meant to be broke and poor forever and that your sickness is normal, then you have to do more work to detach from the outside world because so many people are stuck, fixated on all of the things outside of them and they're not actually looking at what's going on inside of them. If you don't change, your circumstances will never change. And you guys, you have so much power inside of you. You were born for greatness, but are you going to tap into that now? Or are you going to wait 